If you get back from annual leave and you spend the first day that you're back filtering through hundreds and hundreds of emails in your inbox, then I'm here to tell you that there is a better way to do that. With Microsoft Teams, you can bring all of those conversations and those internal chats with all of your colleagues into the one team space. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a change and adoption consultant here at WM Reply, and I'm here to help you ensure that you don't get mail with the use of Microsoft Teams. So my first tip is utilize your teams and channels. Don't just rely on the chat bar in the left-hand rail. It's much more like text. It's that call and response. If you bring that conversation into your teams and channels, it's structured. You can separate your conversations by subject, by subject matter, and by person. So within channels, give your posts the emphasis that they deserve. Mark them with a subject line, make them an announcement, mark them as important as they need it so that your users can vary between the types of messages in the thread. Quite often people send email messages to large groups of people just so that you're CC'd in and you can stay in the know. You can still do this within Teams. So within your channel, you know, you direct a message to a specific person, we'll tag them. And then if we need to, we can tag the whole group or we can just tag the channel. Again, further emphasizing who the message is actually for. And if you've got further groups within that as well, you can create custom tags for specific groups of people within your team. If you're using your inbox to track tasks or a project within a large group of people or a project team, Teams is a much more efficient way of doing that. By using tasks by planner and to-do, you can track tasks across your entire project team and align that against the conversations that are being had all within one place, which means that your tasks or the messages that led to those tasks aren't lost to the depths of someone's inbox. Number five, and this is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to email. If you are still sending email attachments back and forth with version one, version two, version three, that is massively out of date. With Teams, you can upload your files into a shared space. So you can co-author, draft, and get your files ready in a safer, more efficient way that is automatically permissioned to your Teams. If your team has already effectively moved over into the channel space and you get an email that everyone needs to see, don't use that as an excuse to drag everyone back into their inbox. In Teams, each channel has its own email address. You can forward direct emails to that email address and it will appear in the channel thread. Now my next tip is just because we're moving all our conversations into one app, that doesn't mean you have to be completely overwhelmed with notifications. If you used to flag your emails, you can still do that within Teams and Teams channels. Simply mark your message to save for later and come back to it at a more convenient time. And if it is a really important message, you can even set yourself a reminder. Now number eight, out of Office, out of everything. Teams connects with all of the other Office 365 tools. So that means your Outlook calendar is gonna pull across to your Teams. So if you set yourself as out of Office, you don't have to do it across multiple apps. Set yourself as out of Office and you're out of Office on everything. Sometimes you might have a message that you need to get across to large groups of people that may go beyond your Teams or even your channels. With your channel post, you can mark to post in multiple channels. This ensures that your message is being said by everyone who needs to see it. And my last tip, which is probably the most important tip that you can have in Teams, if you can't remember anything I've said today, just click on the three dots. The ellipses in Teams are your gateway to every single option that you'll need to do. Whether that's in calls, chat, or channels, the three dots give you all of the options available. At WM, our team of change professionals help organizations make the most out of Microsoft Teams every day. So get in touch. Thanks for watching.